Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Danielle here. We also have Arthur, but he doesn't want to be on camera today, so we're just going to go ahead and respect that. But it's prom season, so last year we gave away a ton of dresses. I plan to do the same thing this year, but let's talk about prom because my prom was an absolute nightmare. I had a dress that was way too small. My makeup was horrible. I did my hair myself. I didn't even have a date, but if I could at least help a handful of you guys find a cute prom dress, my job will be done. But this video does have a little twist because not only are we gonna be thrifting for prom dresses, but we're gonna be comparing it to shopping online. But before we get started, let's hear a little word from today's sponsor, which is JJ's House. Nothing beats shopping online on a rainy day. So huge thank you to JJ's House for sponsoring today's video and even making this happen. They were kind enough to let us choose a handful of dresses off of their website. So we're gonna be shopping together for them. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you, but I did ask you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see. A lot of you guys were into pastels so they kind of want a balance of pastels and darker colors we're on their website now they have a ribbon full of dresses for special occasions but we're just gonna go ahead and stick to prom if this is your first time ever going to prom and you don't really know where to start when it comes to dresses check out their prom guide it's kind of a little quiz that asks you about your measurements and your body type so that you can find the perfect dress and perfect fit so the first section shows you how to measure your own body and then how to read their sizing chart so that you choose the right size for yourself Number two is choosing the right dress for your body. So what kind of body shape do you have? Me, we got no curves. I am easily a newspaper. So depending on what you select, it gives you elements on what to look for in a dress. So for me, it's saying that I need to define my waist, break up the shape. So I have to look for round and V necklines. A-line silhouettes are good for me just because it tightens my waist and then flares out at the hips. The last thing that it asks for is your skin tone. I would say I'm more olive, and so it's saying my best colors would be silver, dark navy, and burgundy. No nude, no peach shades. So definitely check that out if you wanna see what elements in a dress would most flatter your body type, but let's check out all of these prom dresses. The pandemic made me a scroller when it comes to shopping online, so I personally don't mind going through all the options that they offer Offer, but if you don't got that kind of patience, that's totally okay. I would recommend using their filters. You could filter by price, by color, look at all those options, by length, silhouette, neckline, and a whole bunch of other options. But this dress is actually capturing my eye. It looks very whimsical and just very fairy tale. It has a crisscross back. I'm really liking this, it looks very feminine. So let's choose a color. I actually really like the lilac color that this other dress has. So maybe let's just do that. Okay, we're gonna add to bag. We got our first dress. We haven't even scrolled that deep into this page yet. And I already love this one. I love the silhouette. I love this color. And it's a lace up back. It's just super flattering. Another feminine style that kind of gives me Cinderella, very princessy. And I just love this color. So let's add this to bag too. Oh, this dress is actually capturing my eye because of the satin construction. But why don't we mix things up a bit? Let's do a shorter hem. Here we have our mini dresses. I'm not really into the ruffle skirt. I feel like that's giving very 80s. I do wanna stick with satin construct. Oh my God, this, this is so perfect. We have a pink one and then we have a green one here off to the side. I really like this pearl pink color. We did see it in green. I also wanna do something in red, but I feel like that would give a little bit too much Christmas. So maybe we'll just keep the pearl pink. It's given very soft, ballet core. I think I'm into it. Let's add to that. I know I keep talking about the color burgundy, but it's just one of my favorites right now. So let's go back to the floor length hems and then we'll click into burgundy using the filters. Let's see what populates. Okay, I like this one. I feel like this one is pretty, but the shoulder straps are bringing a lot of attention to her shoulders and making it a little too broad. So I think we're gonna skip on that one. Now this one is absolutely capturing my eye. It has the curved neckline, so it makes the shoulders very soft. Look at that lace up back, oh my God. And then it also has a vent, so you wanna show some leg, wanna show some cute shoes, absolutely. I also wanna point out that when it comes to sizing, they do offer size is 0 through 26 or you can do a custom size where you can put in your actual measurements and so that way you'll get a dress that's tailored exactly to your body and just like that we have our dresses ordered so they should be coming within the next few days if you need a dress for literally any special occasion JJ's house did come through with a discount code you can use twinl10 at checkout for 10% off your order but a huge thank you to JJ's house for making this video possible let's get to thrifting all right first stop is all of these dresses I don't want to get distracted by other clothes so we're gonna stick to the mission 
prom dresses only. I was starting to get worried because I was going through the racks and I wasn't really finding anything, but I did find four contenders and I don't feel like that's very much, but this one caught my eye, kind of giving me Halloween vibes with the black tool over orange lining and the applique seems to be coming apart and some pieces are hanging by a literal thread. So this might be a big maybe, unless you think it's giving a little too costumey. I found this Windsor. Not sure if this is giving prom, maybe it's a little too casual, but the satin I thought was pretty fun. And they're asking another $8.99. But we've got quite a bit of staining on the halter neck and right at the bus. But it's still super pretty. I found another really good tag, Ruby Rocks. It's a size 11. We have this little floral detail, which I feel like these florette details have been so popular all over TikTok and Instagram, but polka dots. I feel like you either love them or you hate them. So we're gonna pass on this one. I feel like this is the only dress that really is giving prom or special occasion. I asked you guys on Instagram what colors you wanted and pastels were an absolute must have. And this one is $12.99. I just, I personally don't think this is cute, especially this curly detail at the hem. So I think we're in a pass. Let's move on to the store number two. I wouldn't say Goodwill was a bust, but up next we have Salvation Army. We're not allowed to film in there, so I'm gonna be a little sneaky, but footage might be minimal. It doesn't really seem like prom dresses are out right now. After some more searching, I did find two of them. They're both red. They both also have a floor length hemline to them. This one is covered in sequins. I feel like it's another type of construction or detail that you guys either love or hate, but mostly hate. It also doesn't have a brand on it. So the other thing I'm thinking is maybe this is a costume because it is kind of reminding me of Jessica Rabbit. It's like very figure hugging, very sexy. This one is definitely giving prom. I just don't think I'm a fan of the beading or the bust detail here. I also feel like the straps are a little too thick. I feel like this is just a very safe dress. We did walk out with one dress. I'm gonna keep it a secret, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know. I also mentioned that I'm gonna just stick to dresses. I'm not gonna skew, check out skirts, but that isn't gonna stop Arthur. And look at what he found. A I'm little, it's so cute. And it didn't have a price tag in. Salvation Army is like notorious for overpricing furniture, but it was only $12.99. So up next, we are getting some licuados. Our licuado and chamango have been acquired. So we're gonna hit up our third thrift store. I just walked in. Look at this beauty. She's a little neutral. Okay, gotta put my licuado down. Kind of giving me like quinceanera vibes, but hey, I'm kind of into it. Let's take it to the mirror. This is what it's looking like. We have some long sleeves, a big ball gown skirt. This is kind of giving me bridal though. So I'm not sure how we feel about it and it does have a lace-up back. The sleeves also flare out just a little bit. I will keep this as a maybe dress. Prom dresses are a little hard to come by in the store too. This is the only other dress I was able to find. It's another red one. Let's see, this one, $14.99. It's a size small, and then this is a brand Miss Mama. It has a lot of beading, it has this vent, but it's still super modest because it has this panel here, so you don't see any leg. And this kind of fits very high watery, like it doesn't even touch the ground. So if you were to wear like super tall heels, it might look a little funny. I feel like it's pretty, but not exactly what we're looking for. All right, y'all, fourth place is the charm, hopefully. And already, I feel like we might have really good luck. Let's go check it out. Oh, nice, nice. I love this. It's so sparkly, it's black. It's an open back, so super sexy. And then let's look at this price tag. Oh my goodness, $30. Okay, we have this plum one, very simple. And then we have gold. Oh my goodness, this is actually very pretty. It's the brand Jessica, it's a size four. This one is $20. I'm kind of into it. Y'all, it is a prom dress gold mine in here. We finally hit the jackpot after so many thrift locations, but let's get started with this one. Price tag, it is 20 bucks, size extra, extra large. Is a brand Giovanni, New York. 
it's all white maybe another piece that's kind of giving bridal wedding but it has beading all over so it's actually very very heavy so i'm not sure if that's really wanted when you want to like dance and have fun so she'll be on the maybe list we have this gray one that maybe is a little too traditional mature but i do like this like silver lilac sheen oh no what is this oh uh, it looks like it's damaged and it is fairly noticed oh no i see this too and it has a little bit of staining all right let's just check the brand it's camille la vie size 8 and it looks like the price tag ripped off of this so it really just proves that if you're gonna be thrifting your dress you want to make sure you take it to the dry cleaners before the event oh no it's even worse in the back actually up next is this velvet burgundy one. I was really into the color, but I feel like after looking at it a bit longer, it's given choir. But let's look at this price. How much are you? Twelve ninety nine. Not too bad. The last dress I picked up is this teal one here. It is twenty bucks, size extra large. I really like this tag, kiss kiss formal. That is so freaking cute. We've got a beaded bust. We do have a little bit of beading that's coming undone. Little embellished center there and surprise surprise another stain but this has a really sexy vent so you can show off your shoes really nicely and then look at this back a matching little pendant and then this cutout this is super cute i'm really loving this all right y'all let's talk about some prom dresses and excuse my voice ever since i got back from iceland i've been sick and it's been a week and a half now i'm at like the tail end of my sickness but Gotta keep hydrated. And now all that I'm left with is this super raspy voice. I kind of like it though. It gives me like a new personality treat. Let's get started with this one here. And I know you guys are gonna be like, Danielle, that's not even a freaking prom dress. But I feel like that's the point. Because if you're not the kind of person who is into prom or who wants to invest in a dress that you're probably only gonna wear for that single night, this is a good alternative. This is that versatile dress that you can wear not only to prom, but to Sunday brunch, also on a date. The thing I do want to point out about thrifted dresses is that you really have to examine them. So I showed you guys earlier that this actually has a blue stain. So just make sure you're looking out for any tear stains. This is definitely going to have to visit the dry cleaners before prom. Thrifted dress number two is pretty similar to the pink one I just showed you. Only this one is a little bit more elevated and you can tell that it's for a formal event and it's in this really pretty plum color i feel like because it's so deep and rich it complements lighter medium and darker skin tones this is definitely feeding into like the 90s aesthetic that i was looking for so we have a v-neck the very like slinky spaghetti straps beating along the bust and then can't forget about this sexy slit which i feel like is a good opportunity to show off your cute shoes I know it's a little bit more on like the simple and plain side, but I did want to give options to those who are into the glitz and glamour and those who aren't. Moving on to thrifted dress number three, I did end up getting the Jessica Rabbit dress. And a lot of you guys have like blatantly expressed that you hate sequins, but hear me out, hear me out. Envision you wearing this dress. You're dancing in the middle of the dance floor and the light shines on you. These sequins are gonna be reflecting that light. You could have your main character moment. I feel like it's perfect. My only complaint really is that for reference, I'm 5'3", and this fits me pretty like high watery, and so it doesn't touch the floor. So maybe it might look a little funny, but also it could possibly be another opportunity to show off your cute shoes. Our last thrifted dress is this one here. When I saw it, my jaw dropped. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, so different from what we were seeing at other thrift stores, but this is easily a thread regret. I tried it on and it looks pretty cool, but if you have a short torso, this bust doesn't really work out. And I didn't realize that this isn't actually an open back. It's missing a strap that connects on both ends here to keep the bust in place. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of boob spillage on the side. So although I do really like this one, I don't know how wearable it is. So if you are interested in it, let me know and I'll send it your way. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep the price tag on here and then just exchange it for something else. Let's move into some JJ's house dresses. So you guys did ask for a lot of pastels, so I did pick up three light colors and then three darker colors. So let's start off with some pastel. I picked up 
this dress right here. This is like straight out of a fairy tale. It does have more of like a modest approach to it. And I feel like it's good at like cinching the waist because it has such an exaggerated ball gown skirt. What's really nice about all the JJ's house dresses too is that they're all lined. So you don't have to worry about showing any bits. And this one also has a crisscross back and the straps are covered in beads and sequins. If you're looking for a dress that's giving modern day Cinderella, Look no further, this is absolutely perfect. So the front looks very modest, but the back, look at this lace of detail, it's very low cut. And this dress is filled with lace applique and sequins from bust to hem. And then this dress actually has boning in the bust, but it's not too restrictive. Like it's still very flexible, so it makes it easy to dance and move around in all night. I've got a wild card tossed in here. I mean, it's okay, it's not really that wild. It's just short shorter than the other one. So I wanted to just toss in a shorter hemline in here, but I love that with this color in specific, you can go in one of two ways, either very feminine ballet corsetic, or do something a little bit more alternative, do like a dark swan ballet look. I also don't see very many short dresses at prom, so you're definitely gonna be standing out. This one is my favorite one. And also it's just giving me like romantic vampire. Do you know that LA throws these vampire balls? So I was telling Arthur, if we ever go, I wanna wear something like this to it. I feel like the silhouette has been pretty similar to all the other dresses. This has like a round neckline. We have the spaghetti straps. This one has a vent right here in the front. So another good opportunity to show off those cute shoes. And specifically with these dresses, you don't have to worry about wearing a bra and having additional straps. This has built-in padding in it. And because it has a lace of back, you can adjust it to what best fits your bust. I wish I would've wore something similar to my prom because I wore a mermaid dress that already fit me too small. We ended up eating at Olive Garden, so all I had was pasta and breadsticks. I was so bloated by the end of our dinner that I just was not comfortable in my dress. And this gives you the opportunity to just like loosen it up a few inches so that your belly could breathe. Let's go even darker and we have a black dress. We're finally introducing a V-neck, and I feel like this is a good dress that has a good balance of glitz and glamour and a little bit of simplicity in it because we only have the lace applique and the sequins on the bust, and then the skirt is just plain tulle. I also appreciate that these shoulder straps are adjustable so you can fit it to your chest because if you're like me and you have A-cup babies, a lot of things just kind of <laughs> slip off our bust. We're down to our last JJ's house dress, and it's this very pretty pretty plum one, pretty similar to the black one that I just showed, only this one kind of has the applique that kind of comes up at the bust, and this one's actually a lace up back. The black one wasn't, it was just a zip closure. Most of the detail really is in the bust, and what I like especially is that it's actually mesh, so you can see a little bit of skin through it. But that pretty much does it for thrifting versus shopping online for prom dresses. So if you need a prom dress, or if you know of anyone who needs one, please have them enter the giveaway down below. All you gotta do is just subscribe to my channel, follow me on IG, and then comment down below which dress you want along with your IG handle so I can reach out if you win. But also a huge thank you to JJ's House for sponsoring today's video. So if you did like any of their dresses that I showed off, I will have them linked down below, but they also came through with a discount code. So if you're on their site and already at checkout, you can use code TWINL10 to receive 10% off your order. But they not only specialize in prom dresses, if you're looking for a dress for like literally any special occasion, they got you. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'm gonna go rest up my throat, go munch on some cough drops. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh my god!